So, you know, I think that's the situation. I think Oklahoma was really mad. I also don't think um, that they were appreciative of what they were hearing about what she was saying online about the judge and the DA. So they could pick her up on the 89th day or the 90th day at whatever time it says on the 90th day that they're going to release her. And they can call the night before or early that morning and say, don't release her. We're coming for sure today to come get her if they're going to expedite her to Oklahoma. Now, if they don't at, by 90 days at that time of release, because there'll be probably a release time on that 90th day, and it usually will be in the morning or whatever time, um, she'll be released. Now, that's why I was saying I don't understand why that was put on Twitter touching down in 10 minutes that was like six hours ago that was posted um free speech um hey edwards so you know you know it's just it's just that i really and, and you know you guys probably don't understand my position at times but i had said prior to her getting arrested that I will really wish that she go um, clear up her legal obligations. And even when we weren't even on that topic and we were supposed to be updating, you know, the public, you know, a lot of us channel holders, like little stuff that would happen. I just consistently kept saying, you know, it was just on my mind. She needs to go clear up her legal obligations. I was real worried about that because I, for one, did not think that was suitable that she was even, um, you know, um, sharing that with her fans, supporters, and haters because they're all mixed in together. These people are all mixed in together, and I'm telling you, even when she was going to the football games, you don't think people were trying to um, bag her up. They weren't successful, but sure enough, it was that one time that she went to, um, you know, um, to court and they, and they took her in. You know, so that was to me a crash dummy move. When she gets out, she'll be cleared from every everyone. Yep. Blue's gonna be out and Krishan's gonna be, yeah, and they're anticipating, yeah. They um and, and they they're just teaching him a lesson too. Hey, Haley. Um, they're anticipating that he will get out, like I had said, when he goes to court, I think at the end of the month, the 29th, 28th. Um, they'll probably release him from court, but they probably have stipulations. Don't don't sleep on that part. And, and you might say, well, the, the getting out is the good part, right, to hear about. But no, it's not because if, if Blueface gets out and he gets stupid and he gets, um, you know, distracted by anything that Jada might do or anything that uh, Krishan might do when she gets out, or if he, if he gets, especially if he gets out earlier than Krishan Rock, which is the end of the month, Oh, I didn't even realize that that's in seven days. That's how time flies. But anyways, um, I'm going to show you that too. Yeah, I'll show you about that too. But I got some other stuff I want to show you. So, you know, hang on now. But, um, you know, if he gets distracted, you know, Krishan gets out. She gets mad. She gets wind that he was messing with Jaden while she was in jail waiting on expedition um, to be expedited to Oklahoma. It's just going to be a lot of smoke. Now, um, let me show you this. You guys will be excited to hear about this. You know, at least there's some type of excitement. Um, I want to shout out hot tea, hot chocolate, because I like the fact that, like with me, in my case, you know, we were all anticipating the 30 days, not realizing we can listen to channel holders. There's nothing wrong with that especially ones that do their due diligence and get this legal paperwork that is free to the public. But the way we might read it might be just the logical way to read it. It might not be the way the law has really, the, the way the law um, and, and how something could be put could be just common sense, how we're, we're, we're reading it and, and, con, and conceiving it. And then we share it with the public. But say if somebody that is a lawyer who went to school for it reads it, they might read it and break it down. And there might be things that we may have shared with the public that 
a, a little bit, a little bit twisted. And not on purpose, but that's because it just reads this way and it sounds like common sense. And that's how they're explaining it to the audience. That's why I don't, I tread very lightly about these kind of situations, this kind of commentary, because things change up or things can be interpreted that aren't what it is. What you're reading might not be exactly what it is. It might sound like it's going that way, but by the court of law, it could be something else. So I do commentary. I don't do commentary on the law. And when somebody goes to jail, the law. I do commentary, hopefully, <laughs> and I hope going forward, people that are free, that are on land, not, not locked up in jail. And I do commentary and I give my thoughts on what's going on from what they share. And that, that's the kind of commentary I want to stick, stick with. I want to stay in my lane because this is where all the mass confusion has came in. So the sister went live 17 hours ago and she said she spoke to Krishan Rock. And this is what the sister had to say. They doing good. I spoke to Kushan last night. She doing good. Keep her in prayer. She'll be back sooner than I feel like. <laughs> y'all ready? All right. Simple for y'all prayer requests. Everybody take the let God be magnified. So we can let God be magnified. The goal is to let God be magnified. They doing good. I spoke to Kushan last night. She's good. Keep her in prayer. She'll be back sooner than I feel like. <laughs> y'all ready? All right. Simple for y'all prayer requests. Everybody take the let God be magnified. So we can let God be magnified. I think that it was out of the lawyer's hands, any lawyer's hands, about Krishan's case because what did I already said? She took too long to go clear up her legal obligations, being concerned. Too much with Blueface. This could have been a setup with Blueface. Listening to Blueface, taking advice from Blueface. Blueface is always right in her mind. So this is how she ends up this way. Now, a lot of people are going to say in my comment section, which I don't care. Stop blaming Blueface. But he played a part in this because he's very jealous of her success. We don't know low key if he could have purposely said, yeah, this is a way that I can get her jammed up. Get the limelight off of her. Get the limelight put on the Jaden, and get the limelight. Um, still, on, it's gonna always be on on Blueface, right? Um, because he's gonna be doing stupid stuff out here in on on social media. But um, you know, and, and they both can get their bag up, and he can also because he's already been using Jaden as a mule. He can get his bag up through Jaden as well, and also the the deals that Whack One Hundred has set up for him. He, and WAC 100 was able to set up these deals for him so he can stop making money and, and WAC 100 can stop making money without the distractions of neither of these two couples together while trying to do this. He, it gave WAC 100 the opportunity to get Blueface to blow up again with these deals with trying to network and Lord knows who else or where else so that he can become, you know, financially stable again and be that dude. Again, you feel what I'm saying? And yeah, he's going to miss Krishan if, in fact, she does have to serve time um, and she doesn't get out uh, within the 90 days or 90 days. But and and when she gets out, it probably even if, even if save it years later, which that I hope that that doesn't happen. Let's free Krishan Rock. But trust and believe there was some animosity and jealousy behind why Krishan has allowed for herself to get set up like that and be in this situation that she's in right now. She really cost herself her freedom trying to run behind a man. But listen up to what the sister has to say. Goal is to let God be magnified. Come on, man. They doing good. I spoke to Kushan last night. Yep, he's going to keep her in prayer. She'll be back sooner than I feel like. <laughs> y'all ready? All right, simple for y'all prayer requests. Everybody take the let God be magnified. So we can let God be magnified. The goal is to let God be magnified. They doing good. I spoke to Kushan last night. She's doing good. Keep her in prayer. She'll be back sooner than I feel like. Y'all ready? All right. Simple for y'all prayer requests. Everybody take the let God be magnified. So we can let God be magnified. 
The goal is to let God be magnified. Man, I'm a religious person too. I believe in God, but I'm doing good. I spoke to Michelle last night. She's doing good. Keep on prayer. She'll be back soon as I feel like. Y'all ready? All right, simple for your prayer requests. Everybody type in let God be magnified. Okay, well, let me let God be magnified. The goal is to let God be Um, Now, here's Carlissa. Well, good People news. are kind of, you know, talking about blue face. They're thinking he's going to get out at the end of the month. I mean, is that all true? Well, he has a court date on um, 729. And I mean, obviously, the judge, you know, extended it. So I don't see why it wouldn't just be like time served. Hmm. Okay. So I think a lot of people are anticipating that that'll be the day. I am. Are you hoping that that will be the day? Yes. I'm, sure? <laughs> I'm planning a surprise um, return home party for him. So. Okay. I'm gonna do it that next he day. Probably won't be there in faith. Okay. I mean, after I mean, after he gets out, is there like another like case he's facing in Vegas? I mean, is that? Um, they thought that he initially had violated his probation, but um, turns out that whatever happened was, you know, the time the wires was just crossed. So no, he didn't violate in Vegas, and that was handled. So he should be free to go on the 29th. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's good. Don't you think he could be making money? I mean, I'm be back. She pretty much lied there because number one, yeah, it was true at first. I heard WAC 100 saying that they thought that uh, that violated something he had did, I guess. It may have been with the DVs. He violated within the uh, statutes of the Nevada um, probation sentence. And um, WAC 100 did, in, in fact, um, fight that. And so he was going to get out July 7th. I mean, July 3rd, I'm sorry. Um, however, let's not forget, he his sentence was pushed up, and I don't know why Carlissa didn't admit to that. Now, it could be true he's going to get out on the 29th, and people are anticipating about him getting out on the 29th. But let's keep in mind that he picked up another charge while in jail. That is why they are holding Blueface, Carlissa for um paraphernalia in your his room i'm saying your room and he also had a cell phone i heard about the cell phone uh, maybe a week later now how i put two and two together he got caught for a cell phone i can remember Krishan rock without really thinking about it i don't think she was doing it on purpose and i'm quite sure put a y in the chat now i'm gonna put a y in the chat i've heard Krishan say a few times even when she was mad at him because he was mad at her about the curfew, she said out of her own mouth that they would sit on the phone for hours or until bedtime. And I said, you can talk on a tablet for hours in your room? You mean to tell me there's no cutoff time? What kind of jail is that? And so that's the phone she was referring to. And that may be why they checked his room, because who you know they check social media. Uh, you know what I'm saying? These uh, uh, authorities that be running these prisons and trying to figure out homicides, they go right to social media when they want to find something out. Because this young youth, all they do is run their mouth, run their business. You you, you might not even nowadays find out something that happens in the street faster than you will online. People get online and start sharing stuff that can incriminate them. We, we didn't see Krishan get online and incriminate herself. She and, and don't let me pull up the interview where she admitted about that alleged dude who Ronnie had did the time for that was unalive. Now that's something we can't fight. I don't care if you're a supporter or not. She said that out of her mouth. And even if you're a supporter, as a supporter, what we need to be telling her is that's not the kind of stuff that you share on social media. Because that can come back and haunt you later on. I told you that what they're uh, going to do. Oklahoma is mad. She mad. Well, I'm, I mean, come on. Everybody knows that Oklahoma is mad. I was just thinking that they would have picked her up. If they were going to pick her up, they would have picked her up within 30 days or they, if they, or they only had 30 days, Oklahoma. And if they didn't pick her up within that time, they would have to let her go. But now we see that it's not like that. And even with Blueface, um, everybody's anticipating the 29th and yeah, he might get time served. I don't think they're going to keep, it's only my opinion though. I don't think that they're going to keep him um, because they need those cells for hardened criminals. 
he did a crash dummy move his cell phone. I don't think it's warranted for him. And in Nevada, the big the big case he has, they just um they didn't they just they slapped him on the wrist where the lady had threatened him if you come back here, you're going back to jail. You're doing three to four years. I do believe she was scared of leaving Junior for she knows she's going to do a little time. So she was worried mostly about leaving her baby. Yeah, she was worried about leaving her baby, but I think she was also hoping that Blueface had got out on July 11th. I mean, I keep, oh God, July 3rd, um, which was weeks ago. And um, he would be able to be there, support a Junior. Maybe they could make arrangements where he got, you know, you know, custody of his child. And then she would have been fine. Even though we know he wouldn't have been taking care of Junior, it would have probably been Jaden doing it. But I think that, I don't know. But I, I know that she was waiting for him to get out. And even if she had time to do, I think that Krishan Rock loves um, this this man so much that she, um, she pretty much um, don't care about the, didn't care about the time she may have had to do. She just wanted to see Blueface before he got out. And she wanted to probably feel as though before she went to jail, if she even is going to do time. I'm not going to get into time. I want to wish, um, you know, the best in that she gets out. However, I really think that she was trying to wait till Blueface got out. Thank you, Hood Unlock. You're the only one that heard in this chat when I said leave a Y if you think yes or no. And you're the only one that Krishan was waiting on Blueface. Exactly, Haley. Thank you, Hood Unlock. You were the only one that paid attention to, to the assignment with the Y. Thank you so much. People pick and choose. They got a lot of select hearing around here. But you were hearing, you were hearing just um fine. And um, and I'm glad that you're on point with yours. I don't think that's why. Nothing. She never report. Yeah, that that see, that's a crime in itself, though, not reporting. Listen, I gotta show you guys something else. So when is she getting out? I'm joining late. Hello, everyone. She has up to 90 days. And um, I don't want to play that because it's not fit. Matter of fact, I will play it one more time. And then I want to show you guys something. Put a Y in the chat. I'm quite sure y'all hear me. My voice carries. Now. I watch a whole eye dream. Yeah, I know. Every I mean, every state has tablets and all that now, especially now. So if you kept telling her that she didn't listen. Yep. Yep. Diane, you already know, sis. And Ronnie is still claiming that he pulled that trigger on. Oh, uh, I don't want to talk about that. We, ooh, child, buttercup, you a trip. You lied. Judge, big mistake. She lied on the county. Well, hey, she's paying for whatever happened to her. She's paying for it now. So I'm gonna play that, that, that. Uh, and then I want to show you guys something. As a matter of fact, before I do that, because I got enough of y'all in here. Have y'all ever heard of this King? No, I'm sorry. It's Hey, man. Because there's a toxic couple on YouTube. I mean, this lady gets mad at her husband. She even um, says he's been with men. Then she deletes the line. Whether or not she's lying or not, this goes to show that there are other social media influencers that are out here wilding. And it's so sad because this these these couples, this couple has, they have like kids, small kids. And these kids are around it, and I just want to know. Hey, vet baby girl. It's called King, King, um, Queen of Kings. Please put it in the chat. If you have it, I will pull it up. But I just need to know. It's right here. Just put yes or, or no. I'm see how long this is gonna take. 
free Krishan and free Blueface. Free Krishan home to Krishan, Krishan Jr. He's missing his mommy. That's right. I don't watch them. It says you are uh, you are telling us that not true. You lie about Krishan getting out weeks. Girl, let's get off my um thing. Please remove this clown. Please remove this clown. You out of here. You're going to window lick. Girl, bye. Since up here, honey. See you later if I can find you. Where you at? Or what they did was they, they must have went to my other channel. Because I can't find you now. But when I do find you, honey, you getting up out of here. Let me see. Let me see if it's on the other, my other channel because I got two live streams going. Hopefully, you guys are on both my channels. I mean, uh, subscribe to both my channels. You can't be on both my channels at the same time. That's impossible. Let me see. Where's it at? Here we go. And I thank you for the 30 that's watching on the channel. I see you. I see you. I see you. Let me see. Where did I see this amateur at? All right. I can't find the person unless one of my, um, P anyways. So, um, let me get back to what I was talking about to, I was rudely interrupted. So let's, um, ban this person. So you're out of here. I haven't heard of them. Okay. Yes. Oh, wow. I didn't know that many people knew about this. <laughs> Woo, child. Y'all is crazy. Infinity said Bean Town. That's what's up. 617. Bean Town in the building. She's on the other channel. Well, get a buttercup if she's on the other channel. You don't see it either. Well, she's out of here anyways. I've been there anyways from um from the thank y'all for coming through, man. Thank you. Love y'all. Make sure y'all hit that like button, man. That makes me feel good, man. That really makes me feel drop the link for the other. Drop the link for the okay, baby. I will. Thank you for supporting. I'm gonna drop the link right now for you so you can go subscribe. Cause like I said, randomly I will be doing like lives or putting different kind of content which you, you'll definitely be interested in it because, you know. All right, where's it at? Okay, here's the link right there, baby girl. I just put it inside of the live. So if you're not, and this is the channel right here, SL David Social Media News. Make sure that you, um, yeah, Queen, yes, yes. Yes, no, it says, the sentence was pushed on up on the other case. N note the LA case, LA gave him probation. Queen has met. Yeah, I think so too, Callie. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we all got a little mental in us. Thank you, sweetie, for subscribing. Yeah, but getting back to the ranch. You know, Krishan Rock, man, like I said, they got up to 90 days. And I think that because Oklahoma is really pissed at uh, at her, that they're definitely going to do her in. Also want to show you something else. I really was going to save it for later, but I think you guys would be um, very interested in seeing this as well. Um, this is just crazy, but hey. She's getting her coins, this young girl. She's like 20-something years old. But this is just telling you how these people can make all this money and then be wilding. And, um, you know, and they just don't know no better. You know, well, it, no, they start to act like they don't know no better. But I want to show you something that's going to shock you guys. Wait one second. I'm trying to pull it up now before I get the, um, trying to show the screen. I'd rather get the information up first. Because I know that's what you want to see. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to share it with you now. Share screen. 
Well, I'm going to be the next question before we start. The next question before we start. Would you like me? I'm going to do it either way, but I'm just wondering who would, you know, would you like me to start doing commentary on the uh, Queen of Kings? Yes or no? I'm not going to begin anything else until I get a yes or no. I couldn't believe when I heard this here. This here was like, what? I think y'all would be interested in this story too. This goes to show what kind of money these young in their 20s are making. TMZ reported it. You know if it wasn't true, they'd be ready to um <laughs> put them all out there. Youngest and people influence because she's an influence needs to understand to skip legal obligations. Yeah, she needs to understand that you can't be doing that. Hi, Mr. I love your live and I subscribe to your channel. You talk real fast. Thank you so much, Johnson. Thank you, sweetie. No, it's not on not of an attorney's hands because it's she had an attorney because they should give. So, um, okay. So Saint, okay, Saint Hudson. Now you you're a hard critic to um to please. So I'm surprised that you said yeah. Let's do it. Okay, now I'm surprised to hear that from you. Now hearing you say yes, that might be that might be a sure bet for this channel. Because you're a hard critic. You're a hard critic. For you to say yes, that you're a hard critic. All right, one no. I'm still going to do it, but I just want you, respectfully, I do want to hear from my community how they feel about it. But I just think, and I, and we just got to be honest with ourselves that, you know, people are more more inclined to watch videos with drama. And, re and real life drama is, is better than even what you see on TV because like Love and Hip Hop, that's usually real, but the, the cast... They write extra stuff to go along with those storylines so that it's even more drama. Like they already have real drama, but it's still not enough. So they add they add more um, drama to their script. So when you get onto IG or YouTube and you see people sharing what's going on behind closed doors, like uh, Queen of Kings and Krishan Rock and Blueface, you're actually seeing now. Let me tell you how much drama kings of queens have to the point. Let me tell you to the point of she literally deletes all her lives now. She deleted every single live because she knows that she has said things either out of being angry that are going to be used against her later, or she knows that. What she said is the truth, and she doesn't want people to be spreading around stuff that's going on behind closed doors. I think you definitely will love the content. I'm going to definitely tonight put up um, the content. It's going to be like on a regular basis. We're going to be doing live streams, commentaries to them, and I think you're going to love them. Because like right now, the, as of almost 24 hours ago, they're getting along. But trust me, sometime today... He's going to do something to piss her off because, yeah, she does have mental issues. Now, everyone has mental issues to a certain extent. Some people are so bad they need to take medication and do counseling because the, if you don't, they can go in the stores and unalive type people type things. I want to hear because this is a big topic for the new election. You want to hear what, St. Saint, Saint Touch? What are you talking about? I like to be educated and hear everyone out. Yes. Okay, Hood Unlocked. That's what's up. So it's more yeses than no. Actually, it's only been one no. So I'm going to put it to the channel. When I set it up for live tonight, I'll put a trailer. Because when you see the trailer, you guys, and I know you guys will really like it. You know, and it's nothing wrong. It's just entertainment. It's, it's entertainment to us, but it's real life for them. You know, and like I said, as long as we from this channel take something away that we can learn from or that we know better and we don't I don't you don't need me to tell you. But at least it's not like 
we're doing commentary and it's gossip, which is a sinful thing. But if you can take away something or be uplifted, that's all I ask for. But I think that we need to add some more um, spice to the channel. And honey, she's got the spice that this channel needs. And I think that it's not as toxic, honestly. It don't know it's toxic. But I don't think it's as bad as uh, Blueface and Krishan Rock. Because with Krishan Rock, you know, you got to edit every little piece that she says. She cussing and carrying on. The baddies, the baddies story. Well, yeah, the baddie story, we're going to get into that for one minute. Okay, Cyrus said yes, too. You talk about baddies. Yep, yeah, whatever her name is, baddie, Barbie. Now, we're going to get into that now. She reports, it says, baddie's baby only, uh, let me say OF, has been good to me, posting huge earnings. See, these type of kids don't be lying about stuff. Especially people like her because they're like Christian Rocks. They they're big headed. It says whatever name of baddie. It said um maybe going through a rough patch relationship wise, but it's smooth sailing as far as her finances are concerned. Cause she's apparently ranking in the dough, raking in the dough big time. Over the few weeks, BB posted her OF all time earning statement date. B dating back of 2021 and the figures is staggering as um it ecl um, eclipsed 57 million and that's more we're being told the number is 100 legit and that her receipts checked out this is from tmz i was like what look at this from April 1st, 2021, because y'all know y'all like the pocket watch, so you know y'all like this kind of content, to July 11th, 2024. S subscriptions, 24 over 24 million. Her tips that she got over uh, from 2021 to 2024 were 578,000, which is over a half a million in tips. Um, messages. She's got 30. I didn't even know he had to pay. She, she, you got to pay for messages, I guess, to talk to her directly. 32 million, 432, 32.8 million. Okay, let's just say that it's almost close to 33 million. So she gets more money from just messaging her than she gets from the subscription. She gets 24 million from um subscriptions and then messaging. Is thirty two million four hundred or four, let's say thirty two point uh, four million, almost thirty three million, which is a grand total. She grossed seventy one million, so seventy one point three. Now I want y'all to see this. Let me see if I can can't make it bigger. She grossed seventy one million. That's me. That's before taxes, but she brought home the net is fifty seven million dollars after taxes. You know how much they took from that 57 mil? Oh, man, I would have a, oh, I don't want to say it. Yes, 57 million over 33 years. Somebody get security. But let me tell you this. Another reason why y'all want to see um, Queens of Kings getting off the subject of baddies because it's not like she be doing that much really in social media lately that I can really um be, we can be on top of her, but that I, I don't think she'll be bringing up about her money anytime soon. And I think that's the only thing that will interest you about baddie um, because um people like the pocket watch. But let me tell you something about Queens of Kings. I know a lot of people, you guys, a lot of you guys are going to want to watch her because she's the one that's the breadwinner. Allegedly, they're saying her husband, who's Caucasian, he don't even work. She's the breadwinner. She's the one that pays all the bills. Like, she's the man. He don't have a job. So when she gets mad every other day, once a day, she goes lives and disrespects him. See, that's why people disrespect you when you're a man or a woman and you're not holding down 
yourself and your dignity. Hey, how you doing, Kalia? Because you know what? Especially being a man. If you're out here living off of a woman and you, you know, you're doing whatever you're doing and you're not providing for your family, you got a young girl, 27 years old, she going to drag your name like this girl's doing to um, him. But see, what's so dangerous about that is he gets very mad and he be ready to go upside the head. Now, I just hope that we don't start doing commentary on this couple because it seems like something always happens every time I start doing commentary on, on a, a couple that's in the algorithm. They start, um, they start, hey, Cancer 66, then, then somebody gets arrested and then it'd be, that'd be the end of them. Anything to hurt Rock and the baby. What is the no, Diane Long and the Shelly Pat? Patton, what are you talking about? No, what are you talking about? So any, anyways, um, yeah, he they don't work. Matter of fact, let me um pull that up. He, well, no, not they. She works. And th the last fight they got into, and I can see why he got into a fight. The last fight that they got into, because guess why? She threatened to quit YouTube. And why did he get mad about threatening to quit YouTube? Because she, she knew that it would get him mad because he don't work and she's taking care of both of them grown folk, herself and him, a grown man. And she's laying up having babies from him because I think two of them are his and the other two from some other men. He got mad at her because she said she was quitting YouTube. She's the one that's making the money so that they can live the way they're living. So, so the true colors of this man came out because why would you get mad if she did quit YouTube? Why? Because he's living off of her. So that's what was interesting to me. You know what I'm saying? That was what was interesting to me. I don't care how light, uh, light, soft, what I'm saying, light. I don't care how light and soft his voice sounds. The dude is literally living off this girl. She knows it too. And when she gets mad, that's when the truth come out. And then when, when she don't want to, um, when she, when, you know, when, when she wants to be lovey-dovey, she's lovey-dovey. So let me, all right, Kings and Queen, they should have just pu pulled up her channel. I, I can see the, some of her videos channel. All right, so let me see. Let's do this. So the, I'm going to, sh oh, oh, you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, good. So this is the name of the channel here. My blended life, it says interracial family vlogs. So this is a vlog she did a year ago. Let me see how long she's been doing videos. Four years ago. Okay. Oh, she's been with him for a minute then. Now her lives, I think, are deleted unless she... um. Unless she um put them back on there, but she yeah she delete she deleted all her lies. She's one of those real compulsive person. Now if you look at her right now, she look at her when she talks now. She's literally having. I'm gonna show you right now. Just giving you an example. Gotta wait for this commercial to leave. We ain't gonna worry about no commercials. She's acting like. This girl crazy. I want to make sure they can hear you, baby. You know you don't got a mic, and it's my on my phone. They can. I need one of those. Things. Thank you, Rachel. Said Brett and Rose forever. Shout out. Where are you guys? Channel, we are sure here on our last right. day. Thank at you, this Nash Money TV. Stupid, stupid. Somebody said always to have like um appreciation for having a roof over your she head, and I do. Yep, she has I genuinely do. But we're at our Sorry, last day at this little in. tiny Who little place. You? We talk. We're talking um, right now. We're talking about. Yeah, I'm very excited to leave it. Um, as a mom. Now, of course, this video would wouldn't interest none of y'all. No, I will definitely pull should. up some clips of some. Because you know, she's been recorded. You are recorded oh. when you're on. Oh, so she wasn't even trying to 
listen to you or soothe you as a just mom. Just have this should. picture in yeah. your mind. Yes, you see, I was so excited. I'm not even right gonna lie. I was genuinely excited to like she talk to her. And that's why I was so bummed out. And then she says things all the time, like and be just dragging stuff, like about man, okay? pulling things out on my brother. Well, it made me like we'll have to go and message my brother, like, hey. Am I going just crazy or did this happen? About an hour and a half ago, jumped on here, uh, job for about an hour. Yeah, I don't know. There's, there's some people thinking we're running no for president fear. or something like that. Me. Um, we're not. Thank you, yeah. Cash you Money funny, TV. Funny on the internet. Love y'all. Stay blessed in the mouth. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wild things happen. So we're on the Wild West here. And uh, so welcome. And... They said, do your kids get along with him? Just wondering, because my kids, Cypher and Naomi, don't get along with their stepdad, and I don't know something. Okay, so be honest. Um, Brett and Roz are like this. I think even more so than Brett and